So for this review, I'm just gonna be laying down. It's too damn hot to even focus on trying to not die of heat. So today, we're gonna be talking about, fuck, hold on. Oh, I just spaced out. Oh, sorry. About Men in Black International. So, here we go. Maria! The power of the Uchiha Alright, so Men in Black International starts as basically somewhere in the past, I can't remember the time frame, that a family kind of like, I don't know, was I guess somehow like implemented into like an alien thing because an alien thing was like hanging around with his kid and no one knew anything. And his alien kid, the alien thing ran away, but the little girl found an alien thing and saw her parents get neutralized with that little thingy, you know? And uh, basically, years forward, years forward, she wants to know what the fuck were them? Who are the men in black and all that type of stuff? So, long story short, shorts, long story short, she finds out who they are. She's into like space and all that type of stuff and aliens. And uh, she tracks down an, uh, an alien site coming down through space and all types of stuff. Basically, she finds them. And they're going to neutralize her for all the information she knows. And then she basically tells them, hey, except for neutralizing me, I spent, like, my time trying to find you. Yeah, me find you. So shouldn't I try to get a job here and all that type of stuff? I was like, you need me and type of thing. And, like, they kind of like, no, I don't really need you. But then they kind of convinced her. And, um, or she convinced, yeah, she, she convinced her to be in a part of the Men in Black. And then, you know, she kind of was, and I forget what agent she is. I think she's agent. It's agent. C? K? No, not K. I don't remember. Um, agent Selvin, I can't remember. Australia, I can't remember. Sorry. I, I seen the movie like three weeks ago. I'm now getting to reviewing it. Uh, just been a lot of work. I would just say that. A lot of actual going to my job and work type of work. So, uh, but, uh, sorry, basically other than that, she has to start following Agent H, which is literally the guy that plays the work, Chris, I think it's Hemsworth. By the way, the girl that plays the main girl in the, series, in the show, she's Valkyrie from Marvel. Oh, sorry, it's fucking hot and tired. I fucking hate this heat. And basically, they go on an adventure to try to find out some information that some alien has and basically he's like the best agent in the european district or something i don't know and she's like still trying to be part of the men in black she don't know much but she's past training and all this type of other jazz just so she can learn about what the hell's going on and basically they start thinking that someone's up like in the in the within the corporization that's being like you know altered or something like that i don't know like they're evil and stuff and all that shit i mean okay i'm not giving the movie justice realistically i'm just kind of explaining it like fast but it was actually a pretty good movie so they went to like some place i don't know like like egypt or some shit i don't fucking know somewhere it looks like it's egypt i, I don't know not really who knows i don't know um that and then they find out who the real bad guy is. I'm not gonna tell you what it is. And uh, a lot of alien shenanigans happen. Some aliens die, and then there's a little guy called Pawnee, which is like a little well pawn that becomes like the pawn of the main Men in Black girl agent, like, agents, whatever her name is. I forget. And um, I don't know, I, I just thought it was really fascinating, to be honest. Like, I'm used to seeing, like, Men in Black, like, Will Smith and, and, what's his name? Kevin Lloyd or something, I don't know, it's, I can't remember the name, I'm sorry, I feel bad for not remember his name, but whatever. So his, you know, Will and K, yeah, let's just go with it. So, those two, I'm used to seeing them in, like, eight, you know, Men in Black 1, 2, and 3, but International... Yeah, they mentioned them. Okay, they don't really mention them, 
they reference them in like a picture which is literally not hiding it they're literally showing it and then um that's kind of really it there was like no other mention about other agents uh of that past or anything like that so there's that so i i don't know it was a different pace it was i guess more I don't know more what's the word I'm trying to go for it felt more common didn't it feel like like a traditional men in black movie which is not bad but it felt different in a different way that's not in a good way because I don't really know how to express it it just it doesn't have Will Smith it doesn't have that guy from AGK I don't know what his name is it just it feels a bit off it feels different but it felt different thinking that those two are from Marvel into Men in Black. That's how I kept thinking about it the whole time. I think that's a big distraction. It's just like they work well together. But I just, I can't, I don't know. It feels weird not seeing Will, at least in the movies. And it's just, it's just weird to say. It's weird to say. So, I don't know. Like, if you guys see Men in Black International, let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. I mean, I personally think it was an okay movie. It wasn't the best movie in the world. The plot... To be honest, I kind of thought something like around a time frame where, where I'll just say that when she lies about having something in her possession, that's kind of where I thought about something that kind of gave near the end of the movie a spoiler for me. But that's all I'm going to really say. Um, again, I, I don't know what else to tell you, but I, other than that, I kind of liked the movie. It wasn't that bad. Uh, should you watch it in theaters? Probably five dollars. Probably five dollars. If anything, if you have dollar movies around you, go to the dollar movies. I mean, it's still a good movie. You're gonna watch it anyways, regardless of what point in your life. It's an okay movie for sure. So once again, thank you for watching. Don't forget to like the video, subscribe, leave a comment below, and I'll see you all for the next uh, movie Black Blur review uh, reviews. Um, again, I'm sorry. I'm probably like doing a lot of fucking movie reviews out of nowhere because you know I, I need content on the channel and. Basically, uh, it's the only content I got right now, so I'm tired. I I'm literally laying down in my bed. That's how tired I really am. So once again, everybody, thank you for watching. Oh, and don't forget to smash that bell button to be notified of any future videos I upload or stream, of course. If you want to support me in on YouTube for sure, there will be a link in the description below for streamlabs.com forward slash exceeding shadow. That will be the best place to support me any way you should perform. Literally, the cheapest you can go is a dollar. It just helps. And I'll see your name. You can tell me anything privately. If you don't want me to say it on a stream one day or not, let me know. So once again, that was my review on Men in Black International. All right? Okay. Bye-bye.